and hay as possible. 1935 was a perfect year for hay production in the southern areas of New South Wales, and because of later adverse years prior to the Second World War, it proved to be the last year of large-scale production. The hay season commenced in early November and finished during the following January. These six-foot Sunshine Massey Harris Reaper and Binders were ground-driven by a large main wheel, a bull wheel, which transferred the power to the various mechanical parts. They cut this Algerian oat crop as a mower does, with a mower-like blade. The crop fell backwards onto the horizontal moving canvas, then moved up onto another slatted canvas, which took the hay up to where it was held by the fingers until it became a regular size. A twine tying mechanism called a knotter tied a twine type hay band around it, and the resulting sheaf of hay was kicked out onto the sheaf carrier. When about five sheaves were on this carrier, the operator dropped the carrier by a foot pedal control which released all the sheaves together. Sheaves were released at the same distance at every round. This Duca demonstrated tying a sheaf by using a piece of the hay, especially for the camera. Week of drying in the stook it was time to cut in the sheaves and commence to build the stack. This 12-ton coxswain wagon could easily manage 300 sheaves per load. Great care was taken against the likelihood of snakes lying under the stooks. Many a handle was broken when trying to kill a snake. After a few days of cutting in stooks, the horses learned to stop automatically at each heap of sheaves. This type of haymaking was labour intensive and up to 11 men were employed during the peak haymaking time. When to Jim Collins, the stack builder, who was on his knees carefully placing each sheet. It was critical to keep the centre of the stack higher so that the water would always drain to the outside. All the outside rows To have three sheaf turners was unusual, as it meant the haystack was going to be extra large. The sheaf turner on the stack it was time to thatch a roof. This was very time consuming and a real art in itself. In November, a second oaten stack was completed. For final protection, both haystacks were insured against fire. <laughs> 